Hi guys, Christian here from the MCI Trading Academy, bringing you uh, the stock market analysis for the week ahead. Now, before I start, I just wanted to point out that we were spot on with the analysis that we done last week, guys. So, if you haven't managed to watch that video, make sure you go back and check that out because there's some very useful information that we provided last week. I'll also put the uh, link in the description below. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you go and check that out. Now, I wanted to start today's video with um, uh, an article from the FT.com. So, uh, guys, we are on July 4th today, which means that we have finally finished the first half of the year. Now, in the first half of the year, the S&P 500, the U.S. stocks, have suffered the sharpest first half drop in more than 50 years. Now, the S&P 500 has dropped down 20.6 percent in the first half of 2022 now the last time this happened was in 1970 where the s p has lost 21 percent from the 1st of january uh, to the 30th of june uh, and we can also see that uh, in the heat map if we are to look at the heat map we can see here that the performance for the first six months of the year, we have the biggest companies, Microsoft, Google, Apple, losing about 20% of their value, uh, with Meta, Facebook, losing 50% of its value. So a lot, a lot, you know, half, half percent, uh, half of their value. Amazon losing 35% of their value. Tesla losing 36%. So, uh, big big drops in the share price of those companies now just wanted to point out guys now those are very strong companies with a lot of cash and with a lot of potential so despite dropping a lot the first half of the year in my opinion there's still a lot of potential with these companies guys so don't uh discourage yourself you know if you are invested at the beginning of the year in any of those companies you're probably a bit down by now however those companies are have a lot of potential for the long term okay and just to back that up a bit okay now in 1970s yes the first half of the year was really bad okay uh with the s p losing um 21 percent in the first half however okay however the s p 500 in the second half of the year okay it managed to gain 27 percent in the second half of the year overall finishing the year uh six percent up so even though the first half of the year was extremely difficult the second half of the year the stock market managed to gain everything back plus managed to get six percent on top of that okay i'm not saying that's going to happen this year okay but there's still some positive out there okay and those companies are very very uh powerful okay so don't discount them that much okay as other people do also if we were to look at the prediction of the largest banks in the u.s the prediction where they believe the s p 500 will end at the end of 2022 well in here okay we can see that we got the biggest banks in the world okay and the price prediction for the price target for the s p 500 at the end of 2022 now this was uh revised as of the uh as of june 30th so they're quite fresh now. Now you can see here that the biggest banks, okay, they still believe that the S&P 500 will end in around the 4,000 price range with the average of 4,482. Now the S&P has opened, okay, the year at around 4,790, 4,800. This will still be a job. So if the if the, the banks are right and the average is right, and we do end up at 4,482, that will still be a drop from 4,800. But it will it will be a gain 
from where the price is now. So if we were to look at where the price of ASMP 500 is now, it's at 3,800. So it will be around 600 points gain from where the price is now till the end of the year, if we were to finish at 4,482, as the big banks predict. Okay, so no one is predicting that the stock market will crash. Despite having, you know, recession fears, despite having the inflation, despite having the war, there's still a lot of potential in there for the price for the stock market to have a positive second half of the year. Okay, so don't discount that, guys. Now, I wanted to go back to um, the economic calendar and just have a look at the uh, important news announcements that are coming out this week and the most important news announcement this week guys are on wednesday the uh, fomc meeting minutes okay so on wednesday at seven o'clock uk time very very important news announcement guys make sure you are aware of this and be prepared okay because there will be a lot of volatility during the uh uh, this announcement okay and the second one most important for the week okay will be on friday with the uh, non farm pairs okay so those two news announcements will uh, make or break this week okay whatever they will happen whatever they will uh, reveal it will make or break where the stock market is heading this week. So guys, be aware of it. Be prepared because there will be a lot of volatility. Okay, a lot, a lot of movements. Now, the meeting minutes, okay, they come in once a month. Okay, so what I wanted to, to show you guys, okay, is that uh, after the uh, FOMC meeting minutes were released, okay, uh, the stock market has done some interesting things now if i go back if i take you here okay the uh arrows here okay are showing the uh day in which the fomc meetings were released since the beginning of the year starting with the first ones on the 5th of january now you can see that when they were released okay we had a big drop okay following by a very very big drop okay so this happened here on the 5th of Jan january okay the second one on the 16th of february the meetings were released and then the following days we had a massive drop as well same here okay on the 6th of april we had the meetings released and then big drop the only time we didn't have the drop was the last time we had the meeting minutes, okay, on the 25th of May, when the stock market actually rallied the next day and then started to consolidate before going and had a lower low. So, three out of four times following the FOMC meetings, we had big drops in the SP 500. Now, will that happen on Wednesday as well? only time will tell okay but just be aware of that we had very negative uh follow follow-up uh, days following the uh fomc meet, meeting minutes guys so be aware of that okay if you're in any positions just be careful with your positioning better to just be out of any positions and wait until the news announcement has passed before you go and take out any trades okay now i wanted to go to the stock market and just have a look at where we stand now so in terms of what happened last week if we start with the us 30 uh, and we discussed and we see what we discussed last week so last week we mentioned that despite having uh, a positive week positive positive bullish week i was still skeptical of this of the stock market going up and going to all-time highs 
because looking at the past, we have a bullish week followed by uh, a new lower low. Okay, what did we do last week? Well, we have on rally, we pretty much did exactly what we did last time we rallied. Okay, so we had a uh, doji to bearish week followed by uh, two full bearish candle, candles on the weekly chart. Now, will this happen again this week? Will we have a full on bearish week? Uh, uh, with a new lower low or close to making a new lower low and then the, for the next week we have we go and make a new lower low well only time will tell okay now what we can say here okay is that we have the 200 weekly moving average so as long as this helps okay i'm positive we can still move higher if we have to lose the 200 weekly moving average then I believe we'll go and have a new lower low and we'll go to this one week IC where we'll, ask, we'll I'll be looking for some consolidation and perhaps buy uh, into here somewhere. However, okay, if we are to zoom in, okay, and go to a smaller time frame, we can see that we had a very bullish day on Friday, okay, with a lot of pressure from the 20 EMA here. So what I'll be looking at this week, okay, I'll be looking to see if price can bypass this area here. As long as price can break this area here, I'm still confident that price will come here or here into this IC here or into this IC here. Where I'll be looking for some consolidation and if we do get that i'll be looking to enter a short position and target the previous lower low now guys i still i still see lower lows in the market and until i see a break of structure on the higher time frame one day one week okay but i would still like for price to go higher before i enter a sell position now non there's nothing to say a price can't just go lower now and make a new lower low okay it can certainly do that and as long as you know and if it does breaks uh the 200 weekly ema then we can certainly go ahead and do that okay so uh two things i'm watching for can we break can we break this area on here can we break this if we can then i'll be looking for price to come up here okay uh and make uh uh, and in here, I'll be looking for consolidation and enter a sell position. And if not, I believe the price will go here, uh, around here. Okay. And then I'll be looking for a consolidation. And if it bypasses this and it goes higher, then I'll have to redo my analysis and perhaps look to enter long positions at that time. If we look at the S&P 500, okay what do we have here well we have this trend line here on the uh, daily time frame and it's it's, it's very simple here guys so it, 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 and there's two scenarios if we break this 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 trend line here then i'll be going i'll be looking for something like this if we do break it i'll be looking for a retest and go ahead and perhaps test those highs here so i'll be looking for this liquidity to be to be grabbed and for those highs here to be tested okay so i'll be looking to enter a trade as if we do break this um this this, this trend line however if we are not going to break the trend line then i'll be looking for this 200 uh, on the weekly time frame i'll be looking for the 200 ema to be taken out okay and it is crucial okay that it's uh it's taken out so if i see a close below 200 weekly ema i'll be looking at this one week ic where price can um, perhaps consolidate before uh i can enter a, a buy position okay so two trades i'm looking at are we going to lose this low here are we going to lose the 200 weekly ema if we are we are definitely making a new lower low uh and if we are
going to break this trend line then we are going higher and look for buy second point and it's similar here on the nasdaq as well on the us 100 if we do break this 200 uh, is this uh, trend line apologies uh then i'll be looking for the lightning bolt uh, and look to buy on the retest and if we're not then we're pretty much losing the same here the 200 weekly ema and i'll be looking for price to come back into this ic here where perhaps i'll be looking to enter a long position at that time if we go over to the uh, dax the germany 40 what do we have here well i was looking at this last week actually okay and despite being bearish on this market i had had a feeling that there was a transaction made within those two candlesticks here and the price had to come back here close that transaction before perhaps making uh or retesting those highs here and that's pretty much what happened so price came straight into this four hour ic that was left on the 8th of march 2022 consolidated and now looks to be going higher now if you go over on a two hour time frame okay you can see a nice double bottom here that formed and that broke over on friday so i'm actually long on this uh since friday and targeting this four hour i see here now guys overall we are bearish on this market and you can if, if, if you are to look at you know where we are heading here well, we've just made the new lower low, okay, and I expect price to come back into this four hour IC, consolidate, and then go and make another lower low. Now, at any point, okay, at any point we go and close above this level here, okay, then we'll have a break of structure on this four hour time frame. And if we do, then I'll be looking, I'll have to review my analysis and look for long positions so it is very crucial okay that we either hold you know we consolidate here and then enter a sell position and if we pass and go through this okay then i'll be looking to see if this level is taken out and if it is taken out then perhaps look for long positions there's a lot of ipa still left you know up here that needs to be filled and i believe price can still go higher but only only if we break this level if we don't then lower prices are still uh, the first choice in this market moving on to uh, currencies and more specifically to gbp usd now on here okay we have on a daily time frame we have a potential a potential double bottom here guys and if we do break this level here I'll be looking to enter a position and perhaps target this as my take profit. Now, what I'm looking on here for overall for this market is for those highs to be taken out, for this liquidity here to be taken out, for those IPAs to be filled, and for price to come back into this 1D IC for the future okay so this is a slightly longer term trade okay so if this if those if, if the double bottom gets activated here then i'll be looking to enter a buy position here uh we take profit around here and then if price manages to get up here i'll be looking to uh for some consolidation and perhaps enter a sell position at this point targeting those lows here okay so that will be a very long term trade guys uh keep an eye on it if it does happen it will be very very profitable before we finish i wanted to go back i wanted to go to cryptocurrencies and more specifically to the uh to uh, the bitcoin chart because i'm getting a lot of questions about it you know what are my thoughts on cryptocurrencies on bitcoin and where is this heading to now there's two things i'm looking at okay so we are on a daily we have a potential a potential double bottom here uh which you know, if we go above this level here then we are potentially you know short-term bullish now i i'll never 
I don't want to go full bullish on this unless we break this level here. If we are to break this level here, then at that point I can say perhaps we are we are going back to being bullish. However, okay, if we are to break this level here, okay, this level of 17.5, I believe we will go all the way down to this level here, okay, to this IC, one month IC here, which is around 12.5, okay, and I believe if we do break this 17.5 and we go down to this level, there will be a lot of buyers at this level here. Okay, so at this point, I think there will be a lot of buyers that will go and push the price all the way up. Okay, so guys, that's pretty much what I'm looking at. Uh, this that's that's all from me for this week, guys. I hope you, you find this very useful. Please like uh, and subscribe uh, to our channel. Please comment if you, if you find this useful and if you want to see if you if you have any preferences in. For our future videos also make sure you guys you, you follow us on instagram for uh any for very useful tips that we have on there and also if you if you're looking uh to if you're trading already or if you're looking to to begin uh, your trading career make sure that you uh, inquire about our uh, mentorship courses thank you very much guys i hope you have a great week